I think the, the way I generate ideas, um, it's quite strange. I'm a scientist by trade, so we think very factual. I was fortunate enough to have come across a government business incubator, a program whereby they recruited scientists from universities. They basically taught us the business skills. It made me as a scientist think outside the box to look at commercializing products, uh, to look at the gap in the market concept and to look at technology trends. I'm always, always looking at innovation as a way of building a profile. Hence, I think that's the reason why I was recognized by Forbes. You don't have to reinvent the wheel to be innovative. You can improve on an existing platform. I was not fortunate enough to have grown up with a silver spoon. Um, so of course I had to work extra hard to get myself out of circumstances and the biggest motivators were my parents of course. Um, they always made me feel that I'm, I'm the best at what I, what I want to do, of course, <laughs> that's debatable. Being an entrepreneur does not mean that you have to be good at everything. Um, to be realistic, I don't think there's anybody that's good at every aspect of business. Um, I think the important thing is to identify your passion firstly. And once you have identified what you love, to pursue that and obviously stick to your nut, do what you're good at. Anything else, all the support services required is that's the reason why you employ people. Do not try to do too many things at one time. Um, if you bring out a product, focus on that product, Sco scope the market and, and put all your effort into it until it runs smoothly, whereby you know for sure you've got a well-oiled uh, machine. Then you start executing other ideas. 